So here is a really good question in the book Mission Pilot, the David Gates story on page 11. It says that Pastor David was born with this serious condition of intestinal atresia. The physician told the mother that the situation was grave. Mrs. Gates, your firstborn son will die. He cannot possibly live, even though we tried to do restorative surgery. Here's my question for Pastor David Gates, the Seventh-day Adventist Church has for over 50 years supported killing children with physical deformities or mental retardation. This phrase became unpopular, so they became creative and said it was congenital defects. However, church members have since wisened up to this euphemism, so church leaders again became creative and recently came out with a new euphemism, birth anomalies. So here's the problem. David Gates was born with a severe, life-threatening birth anomaly. People kill their unborn children for something as minor as cleft palate, but Pastor David's case was very serious, and intestinal atresia is often detected by ultrasound. Our Seventh-day Adventist Church has officially supported and continues to support the killing of little children who have the same condition as David Gates. That phrase, birth anomaly, is left totally undefined and open to interpretation. And notice this, there is no, there is no restriction at all on when or how far along in the pregnancy you can perform the abortion. You can kill baby David at just eight weeks, or you can kill baby David eight minutes before he's born. The church his position has no restriction at all on partial birth abortions. So some questions for Pastor David. I'll be sending this video to you. We are not getting any answers from church leaders, so we would really like to hear from you. How do you feel about our church's position that it would have been okay to kill you before you were born? Where in the Bible is the scripture to authorize doing this? If Catholics or evangelicals, if they come and ask us Adventists why our church supports killing children, what Bible verse should we use to respond? And is this how we are to prepare for the second coming of Jesus by chopping up into pieces little children who are not perfect. How are we Adventists to respond to the claim that we teach perfectionism when we literally support the violent killing of little children who are not perfect? This horrible teaching remains in our church because nobody is saying anything. And since this directly applies to you and your situation, and since this teaching denies the value and worth of not only your life, but the lives of countless countless other little children, would you please, would you please speak up and say something?